Hello, my name is Jaros Menyesi. I want to introduce to you a new oxalic acid vaporizer sublimator. This is a cordless version of a, a sublimator which is just newly developed. Uh, just a couple of uh, its features. It has a 6mm uh, copper tube which is very strong, it can hold its weight and uh, it has some teeth which catches the side of the uh, beehive so you need to drill 7 mm hole, you press it in and it sits there and uh, doesn't turn, it's very stable. You uh, just catch a battery, you just plug it in, clicks in and then you can set up the desired temperature and then you can switch it on, I will not switch on, maybe just for a couple of seconds and then you will see as the temperature starts to go up, 22, 23 and I will uh, just switch it off now, I don't want to burn myself. It has a voltage display, so you can uh, check and you can always see what is the voltage, the current voltage of the battery and you can protect your battery so when it goes down to 15 volts then you can switch off. It still displays the temperature and the voltage but the heating is switched off and you can pull out your battery and you can put in the new one. The, it has a, a heated chamber which you can heat up up to 240. I limited the temperature to 240 degrees so you don't damage the oxalate acid and you don't degrade it. Uh, it has a very accurate temperature control which means that uh, you heat up in about uh, 3 to 4 minutes depending on the ambient temperature and then it stays there and when you put in the 2 gram it just drops down about 15 degrees and right away goes back in about 25 seconds so there is no overheating not even more than 2 degrees never more than 2 degrees overheating so it makes it a very accurate uh, and very dynamic uh, heating control it has two heating uh, cartridge heaters in it on the bottom and uh, it is heating up, it's just next to the uh, exit copper, so it is very good because the oxalate acid is not uh, uh, filling up the tube because it keeps it very hot. Just a couple of words about the feeder itself. It has a very simple feeder, you just press it into the oxalic acid, it fills up the tube, you press it in and you just press it. So it's really that, that much time it takes to feed it and you can set up the desired grams here 1 gram, 2 gram, 3 gram, 4 grams and you are just turning this uh, knob and you can press it to, to push out the oxalate acid it really works very reliable and very simple everything is stainless steel so you just press into the oxalic acid press it in and you press and it goes into the chamber. Uh, everything is stainless steel, you can clean it, there's no problem. You just switch it on, it takes three and a half minutes to warm up. You put it into the either the entrance or from the back into a hole. And you take out, you press into the oxalic acid, you push in, press, you see that the temperature will drop down about 15 degrees and you wait until it goes back and you will always see when it goes back let's say if you set it up to 230 degrees then if it goes back to 222 degrees it will be finishing the sublimation or the vaporization and it will be always at the same temperature curve because it is uh, not overheating it is very reliable it will go back to the same degrees and what is very good is that you don't need to invest into your battery if you already have some type of battery at home because I supply it with a desired socket with either Parkside, Einhell, Metabo, Makita, Milwaukee or Bosch battery socket so this socket is what you order let's say here is a 5 amp hour Milwaukee battery socket you just press in and now you use a Milwaukee battery type, if you already have your own power tools, you don't need to invest into just the batteries. And just for your reference, if we just look at the 
Parkside battery. This is the old 4 amp hour uh, type uh, uh, Parkside battery which you can buy in Lidl. And uh, with this, with heating up the chamber, so it's, everything is cold, you just press it in, you go up to 230 degrees, it takes 1.4 amp hours just to heat up the chamber from, from the ambient temperature to, to 230 and then it takes 8, you can sublimate 8 times the 2 gram doses with 1 amp hour. So if the chamber is already hot, you put in a new battery, then you can sublimate 32 hives with 2 gram doses with this 4 amp hour battery. And you can buy the 8 amp hour battery now, which uh, Lidl just came out with, just with 50 euros, and you can sublimate up to 60 hives with 2 gram doses. So it's really feasible, it's cordless, you can go very fast, you can even use two tools if you have many hives, and you can just put in, press, go to the next one, press, pull it out, go to the next one, so it becomes really fast. and. Uh, reliable, you always know the temperature, you always know the voltage and there will be no problem. If you need a second feeder, you can just put it into the handle, uh, but usually one is just enough. But if you have like very big hives, very strong hives and then smaller hives, maybe you set up one of them to one and a half grams, the other one to two and a half grams and then you just pull out and you use this one. Maybe you mark it with the color, so you know which one is which, or you just see from the handle which one is set to uh, bigger dose. I think that's it what I wanted to share with you. Uh, in the description I will put in the email address where you can uh, order it, where you can uh, request more information and I will be happy to assist you. Thank you for your attention.